How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick video on how to change legend titles in ggplot and make them just like very nice, very pretty. So we're going to need a couple of libraries or packages here. Obviously ggplot and if I can spell library datasets so that you can follow along. We're going to be using the empty cars data set. And what we're going to do is we're going to plot horsepower and miles per gallon on a scatter plot. And then we're going to change the color of them based on the cylinder. So let's start with that. So empty cars. We'll do a ggplot. AES, our x is equal to our horsepower. And our y is equal to our miles per gallon. And we'll do a point, geom point. And so we can see as horsepower increases, miles per gallon tend to decrease. Um, and what we might want to do is separate these colors based on our cylinder, add a third variable into our chart. And so because cylinder is numeric, it gets all types of funky, right? This looks terrible. So let's throw a factor around cylinder because we don't like that funky stuff. Hmm, much better. So we have our four cylinders up here that tend to be higher efficiency as well, six and then eight cylinder. Um, all right, so what we want to do now is this uh, legend over here kind of looks not great, right? Factor sill, that doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, right? Um, and maybe we want to change this 4, 6, and 8 too. So we'll look at how to do that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to add on a uh, scale, color, discrete. And so because we have a color up here, we're going to put color, uh, the other option is fill, so if you're doing like a histogram, normally you want to fill it. And so if you're doing a histogram, you'll want to do scale, fill, discrete, and discrete because we have, you know, the separate var variables here, it's not continuous. Okay, and so what we want to do is we'll do a name. And so this is the, the title of the legend. So we'll do number of cylinders. Cylinders. We'll just leave it a number of sill here. Uh, and let's run that first. And so now we have a nice legend title here, number of sill, four, six, and eight. Uh, we can also switch this four, six, and eight. Honestly, it's probably fine in this case, but let's just switch it just to show that we can. So for that, we'll do a labels is equal to and we'll catenate whatever we want our our uh, labels to be. So for this, we'll say four sill, six sill, and eight sill. And there it is. It's just beautiful. It's a work of art. ggplot's amazing. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to press like if you found this video helpful so other people can find it. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want the premiere, our content in the world. Okay, it's here on that R Nerd channel. And uh, thank you for your time. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you found it helpful. Have a good day.